Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Car Talk Friday. And actually it's not a pleasing one because it's it's involving someone we thought he was going to be representing us in the Rugby World Cup. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere right. Okay, Apiwe Chanchi, as you, you guys might have heard, he was involved in these uh, doping scandals. And then, well, they had to take it further to make sure that this guy is either doping or not. And then the South African Institute, actually, of uh, Drug Free Sport came back and said, Janji, we are charging you, actually, because uh, we have found that you actually were using uh, banned uh, drugs. So this is the story. Apiwe Janji's uh, B samples have come back, uh, and then they've been uh, confirmed to be positive for anabolic steroids and metabolites so the specific are as follows it's uh, the first one is a uh, metan denone uh, they're actually that these are drugs for that you, you use for enhancing performance they're actually banned they are no longer there they are no longer allowed for at least to use so it's, it's been found that uh, in his samples they found uh, this um, metan denone for enhancing uh, performance Mainly, if you are a rugby player, it's all about the strength, the power, and, and the pace. So, obviously, they have been found in, in his uh, samples and meaning that he was using it to enhance that power. He was a good uh, fella who, who played um, positively. But if you find things like this, you start associating them and say, wait a minute. Are you telling us that because of uh, these performances, these good performances you've been putting up, there were these drugs in you. Such a question you can ask. There are actually three. The second one that they actually found is a, a methyl, okay, methyl testosterone. This one is used in treatment of puberty and menopause for women. It also enhances uh, the performance, uh, give you that much needed performance. So as you can see, they are also banned. They are just used for... Uh, Few dosage maybe for, for, for menopause and then for puberty, mostly used in u women. But um, also if men use it, also it impacts them in a good way uh, as much as the first one would impact. The last one that they found in his samples were LGT4033. Uh, uh, this drug increases muscles. It is commonly used by the wrestlers there. The, the, the guys who are just into steroids to, to be powerful. It helps build the muscles. The bodybuilders love these drugs the most. And these ones are officially banned. You know, they don't want them anywhere near at least because if you are going to start using this, then you are helping your body to, to get a bit bigger and then you get an unfair advantage against other uh, competitors. So, Apiwe Janji, if they found maybe one, we would have said, well, maybe it's a mistake, but three. That looks like intentional. And it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something so dis disappointing because they just announced the, 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 the squad just uh, this week. On the 13th, they, they, they break, broke this story to say that um, Janji is suspected of doping. We were hoping that he was going to make the the, the the squad for the World Cup. And unfortunately, you can't include someone who's uh, suspected to be doping. And then they chose the squad. He was not there. And then after that, today they're saying that, okay, these are the results. The guy, the East samples has been found with three drugs that are banned. And you wonder... Such a brilliant talent, such a good talent that we can use as South Africans. Yeah? We are in a rainbow nation. You want to see black Indians, white, colors, uh, all the, 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 the races in the, in, in, the, um, in the squad, the people who are deserving. And you look at someone like Janji, he was deserving. He, was, he, he had an impact on that squad. And then... Suddenly, the guy is suspected of be, to be doping. The results come back, he's doping. It's such a shame. And I, I, I think for most of the, the athletes, 
they need to stop this thing of enhancing uh, their performance. If you are poor, you are poor, my brother. If the other guy is better than you and you are still good to be on the bench, hey, that's a good thing. At least you, you are given the bench. It means you are better than the ones that they haven't selected. But if you are going to go and say, well, we're going to Oracle Cup. I need to show myself. I want to be better than him. And then you start taking those drugs. Then unfortunately, my brother, you're never going to go to the World Cup. Unless there is a story to it, which no one is going to believe, unfortunately. If you're going to come and say, no, actually, I was given this by uh, this person I didn't know. Really? Are you going to tell us that you just took this thing and then used them without knowing? So obviously, if they are three, my brother, it means you, you knew about it. And I don't know with athletes sometimes, how, how do they think? Like, if I use these things, no one would know. They will know. Not that they will suspect you or anything, but at least they always take samples. They will always take samples of athletes. After, after matches, they will take them. Just to make sure, hey, you're on the right level. And then you wonder, there is a guy like Usain Bolt. There is Cristiano Ronaldo. There is Messi. Those guys are playing good. And you have never heard of them saying that um, this guy has been doping. He's using steroids. He's using one, two, three, banned substances. You never hear that because they respect their talents. That's what's put the food on the table. Unlike our friends here who just decided to use three of the banned stuff. Now we, we must just sit there, South Africans, and say, oh, what a loss. What a lost uh, talent. We could have used them in, in the, at the World Cup. But we are going to say that. What we can say is, brother, go back and restructure yourself. We are going to the World Cup. To the guys that are selected, we hope that they make an impact. And artists need to be their managers. Where are the managers? You need to constantly remind them that, hey, we do not go to any banned substance. Just focus on training and making sure that you develop a positive mind. That's where you are going to be successful. Otherwise, we all make mistakes, we understand. But bro, you disappointed many people. Eh? South Africa is disappointed. So the only thing we can say is better luck next time. If there is ever going to be next time because you already charged. Lord knows how many years you're going to be charged. But you already charged. It might even impact your career all in all. You might as well go and write a book. How I was caught before the World Cup. That's the title, my brother. I'm going to give you that. Of course, they will buy it to support you. But the moral of the story is, don't do drugs. Especially these ones that will make you tougher, stronger. Huh? You got the people like Beast there. He's strong. Someone will come and scram him. Nothing happens. Are there drugs? Zilch. Zero. Nothing. Then you get someone who, who should rely on their speed. Drugs. Anyway, guys. It's such a shameful story to talk about. But we got to talk about it. So to, to, to my brother, Piwa. The only thing we can say as South Africans is hard luck, man. Go back and restructure. Life goes on. That's what we can say to you, bro. Guys, thank you for watching. And please, if you constantly just hit that uh, subscribe button, you're supporting the brother. And you're helping the channel grow. Let us be recognized out there. We can only start small. So, please subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we'll come back with another update. Thank you for watching the car talk. Thanks, guys.